focus pattern based on the clash skill. So the clash skill is if there's if the unit or the foe initiated combat after moving to a different space, they can stop buff equal to the number of spaces moved. Move up to four. And if the X if the movement at least two or both neutralize penalties to their through two stats. Two stats. Alright, let's go for the units and then we'll go from there. So we have Brave Silith, uh, Holy Tide Terraving. It was Kanto. So, uh, so after an attack is skill, search destruction can move again. Uh, only two is moving and any skills to give them another action trigger first. And can I warp stuff like that? Anyway, other than that, the Sasper trigger, Crew minus one. If here the foe initial combat after moving to a different space, grants attack speed, defense rest plus five to him during combat. And deals damage equal to X times 10 at foe's defense. And X number from stations from the start position to the end station onto whoever teams the combat, the maximum is four. So most by damage you can probably get 40% of the enemy's defense. Alright. Excluding your effects of course. And also if HP is 20% or above at the start of combat, and his HP is above one, and foe reduces his HP to zero, he defies with one HP. Uh, once per combat and skill stuff would trigger the, that similar effects will, will not stack, but will still trigger. Alright. Yep. Do we have Luna? Choose full event time res as the truth is 50% during combat. Attack speed clash 4. So I've covered it, so it's just the attack speed version of that skill. Low speed defense rate, speed defense minus three in the full, and neutral exposure to two skills from skills like four fire attack during combat. And air of light. At the start of turn, if he's in two spaces with an ally, attack speed plus six and null follow up is scrammed to him for one turn, and he can move one extra space. That turn is attack, and null follow up is if he has space to full, neutral effects guarantees full swap attack and prevents his. Then we have Harkin. Troubling Blade. A Salisbury Trigger, Crank Minus 1. He attacks twice, even though the full nation combat. That will still happen. And then... At the start of combat, if he speed to 25% or above. Attack speed, defense, rest, plus 5 to him. Reduces the amount of uh, foes first attack by 40%. And grants Crank Minus plus 1 to him per attack during combat. Highest Minus 1 is that stack. And for each foe within 4 speeds of him, he can move... To a space adjacent nearest, so he can move to any of the nearest spaces adjacent to that foe, unless that space is impossible. Bone fire, boost size by 50% of his defense, for two charge effects of weapon. Before I cover the class, just the attack defense version. Fire assault. At the start count, if HP is 98% or below, and he needs to come out, or if he needs to come 100%, and he needs to come out, defense rest minus 4 in the foe. The foe's first attack is produced by 30% and he's guaranteed a follow attack. And his next attack deals damage equal to 30% of the foe's attack damage prior to the reduction. Resets it in the combat. Untouched by some wire. Wire some weird things. Anyway. Then we go for Isadora, Guardian Lance. A South Bay Shirt, Craig my son. If it is a skill like reposition pub, such etc. It's used by her or targets her. Grants attack speed, defense res, plus 6, bonus dealer, and full penalty dealer to both her and that ally. And then for a turn, if she needs to come with the Orsman, 2 speeds of an ally, attack speed, defense res, plus 5 to her, neutral effect guarantees full swallow attack, and prevents hers. And then reduce that by foe's first attack by 40%. Bonus dealer just grants attack speed, defense res, during combat, equal to the current bonus to each two stats. So, and these stats calculate independently. A uh, full penalty number is affects penalty on foes attack speed defense rest during combat, equal to the current penalties on each of those stats. So, for example, if you have a bonus of, say, 4 attack and 6 speed, you get a force attack and 6 speed. The same applies to the foe, they have them as penalties. Reposition, target ally moves to the opposite of her, so we'll trigger her guarding lance. And the only other skill we need to cover here is attack defense snag. Attack defense minus 4 on the foe during combat, and if it was a skill like reposition stuff like that, she used by her or targets her. In fact, attack defense minus 7 and sabotage on nearest foe and 4 spaces of both her and target target ally after movement. And on foes when 2 spaces of those foes equipped with a skill that can trigger saber vengeance action. 
And sabotage is inflicts pounding on foes, attack speed defense res. So on their attack speed defense res turn card. Equal to the highest pounding on each of the stats between them and allies when two speeds of the inference action. And each stat is calculated independently. And that's about it. So best on yourselves and less. Uh, I have all units here, so I just do what I want. I'll go for Is Isadora. Alright, let's just go for A featured. And we get. Okay. Alright. That's about it. Best of luck in terms. I'll see you next time.